We're looking at portraits today, and especially looking at unconventional media. At home you might not have materials that you'd like to have in the art room, like some paints, etc. But at home you can find lots of different things to help you out, and we'll be looking at those. So as you can see, I'm sketching out a self-portrait of my face. For year 10, you'll be doing the hero project, so you'll be drawing your hero. Year 9, you're looking at a self-portrait. You might want to draw using the grid up method, but I'm happy for you to just draw yourself, sketching it freehand. Don't worry if you make a mistake, just press lightly, use a rubber, and rub it out. You'll see as I'm going along in this one, I'm working quite quickly, but I'm still changing the shape of the jaw, and working and adding new detail. For my drawing, personally, I am just concentrating on the, the different medias you can use. Um, so I would normally take a lot more time. As you see, I'm just drawing the neck in now, getting sort of folds of the clothing. But every now and then I am giving myself an indication of where my cheekbones are, or where there's a sort of uh, bit of shadowy area. Uh, now, coffee's the first one. If you look here, I've poured some coffee onto my dish, and I'm mixing it up. Try not to use too much water. The less water I use, the thicker and the denser the colour is, the darker the colour is. I'm blocking in here where the big, dark, or obvious areas are, like the bright, dark brown of my hair. I'll come back and work into that later. Now I'm taking that colour and watering it down really significantly. So lots more water than coffee, so I can just blend in really light areas. Here, I'm adding dark areas and then blending them out using just water. Occasionally, bringing some of the dark colours, slightly dark colours, back in to create the effects of tone under the eyes, across the bridge of the nose, and on my forehead. So, yeah, constantly trying to get different levels of paint. This one, I'm trying to make the paint as dark as possible, or the coffee, rather. coffee I'm using is just a Tesco's own brand. It's uh, sort of a, a rich roast bun, which comes in little chunky sort of nuggets of coffee. I find they're quite good because you can use them for different textures later on. If you want to use some glue, PV glue and just coffee, you get some nice effects with that. For the eyes here, you notice I'm painting them really dark, but then just getting pure water and just blend them out so I get a nice tonal shift. Tiny bit of water there on the white of the eyes, just so they're not too obvious. Again, working back in. Take your time. I'm looking at just subtly every time that when, it, when the paint dries, I'm just working back into it with a little bit more coffee here. Yeah. Darker tones, so I can do some of the detail. Food colouring is our next unconventional media. Here I've got just a simple red, blue, and yellow. I'm starting off mixing red, a little bit of yellow into it, and then watering it down. Right this year, and I'm just brushing on. This is quite the diluted colour of uh, red and yellow, so I'm getting a slight flesh colour to it. If you're uh, uh, dark skinned or black, then you can add more blue to this and you'll get a brown colour. At this point in time, I'm just doing darker orangey colours to fill in some of these areas here. As we progress, I'll start to add some slightly darker colours around the side of the head, even adding a tiny bit of blue to it now to create a well, harsher colour, a bit browner. So it works around the side of my nose and the shadows. If I want to create a more realistic tone, I'll add some green to my flat face, some of the kind of highlighted areas here, just to get that feeling of a uh, more realistic skin tone. Just darkening up some of the detail here, create more purpley colours, give some more emphasis to the shadow areas. Here's a difficult one to uh, work with. On this one, it's red, blue and yellow, you'll get a brown colour. So you see I'm blocking it in there. I tried something a bit more experimental, so I've got my brown, but I decided to add more rainbowy colours to see what would happen. I quite like it, but if you feel you've made a mistake and it doesn't work, let it dry and work over it. If you've got blonde hair, well, use yellow and put a wash over it, and a tiny bit of brown, and just draw the low lights in it and the highlights as you see fit. And finally the eyes. Just in a little bit of blue around the outside and then blended it in the water. I think it's finished now. 